much. Can you do what I can do? What's that? Give me the ball. Okay, here it is. Wow, that's awesome. Have you already started playing early in the morning? You all need to pay a visit to Mr. Hopster to learn something today. Where are your sisters? Mom, you're here. Our sisters are behind the bush over there. Go and get them and follow me. Mr. Hopster, how are you? Doing great, little ducklings. I've been waiting for you. I have something interesting to talk about today. Yay, 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 yay. What is that going to be, Mr. Hopster? Well, come over here. Okay, Mr. Hopster, you guys go ahead. I have some work to do. I'd love for you to stay and check this out. Some other day, Mr. Hopster. Thank you for your offer. Anytime, Mother Duck. We should be done in a little while. See you soon. I'll be back when you're done. See you soon. You know these are the eight planets and the sun is at the center? Collectively, we call this our solar system. Yes, Mr. Hopster, we know that. I'm sure you remember that days and nights happen because the Earth rotates around its own axis. Yes, we remember that. Today, we are going to learn about the revolution of these planets around the sun. What's revolution? Well, you'll see now. The movement of the planets around the sun is known as revolution. When the planet comes back to its starting point, we call it as one full revolution. Wow, that's really wonderful. Thank you, my dear. The path each planet takes around the sun is known as orbit. Orbit? Why is it called an orbit and not a circle? Well, first of all, the path traveled by the planet is not circular. It's in the form of an ellipse. Secondly, orbit is the name of the path that one object in space takes around another. Great! Now we know what's an orbit. Each planet takes different time to complete one full revolution. For example, Earth takes 365 and a quarter days to complete one revolution. Is that what we call one year? Exactly. The time for the Earth to complete one full revolution around its own orbit is what we call as one year. How long did the other planets take to complete one revolution? Great question. Look over here. The closest planet to the Sun is Mercury. It takes only 88 days to complete one full revolution. The second planet is Venus. And Venus takes 225 days. The third planet is Earth. And we already saw that Earth takes 365 and a quarter days is what we call as one year to do a full revolution. The fourth planet is Mars. The red planet Mars takes a little less than two years to complete a revolution. The fifth planet is Jupiter. The largest planet Jupiter takes around 12 years for one full revolution around the sun. The sixth planet from the sun is Saturn. This gaseous planet takes about 30 years for one revolution around the sun. The seventh and eighth planets are the icy planets. They are so far away from the sun. So they take very long time. Uranus. The seventh planet takes 84 years. And Neptune, the eighth planet takes 165 years for one revolution around the sun. Did you all like it? We loved it! Wow! That's 
a lot of information. I see your mom over there. Bye, Mr. Hopster. Bye, Mother Dad. Let's recall. Hi, this is Rhea. Welcome, everyone. We saw Mr. Hopster and the ducklings learn about the revolutions of the planets around the sun. We'll see if you can recall them. Can you tell what the name is of the path taken by the planet around the sun? Is it called ellipse? Or is it called circle? Or is it called orbit? Yes, the name of the path taken by the planets to go around the sun is called orbit. Let's take a look. Thank you, my dear. The path each planet takes around the sun is known as orbit. Orbit? Why is it called an orbit and not a circle? Well, first of all, the path traveled by the planet is not circular. It's in the form of an ellipse. Secondly, orbit is the name of the path that one object in space takes around another. Great! Now we know what's an orbit. Let's see another one. Can you tell how much time the Earth takes to complete one revolution around the sun? Take a look at the three boxes below. Can you tell which one it is? Is it one year? Or is it two years? Or is it three years? Yes, the Earth takes one year to complete the revolution around the sun. Let's take a look. The third planet is Earth. And we already saw that Earth takes 365 and a quarter days is what we call as one year to do a full revolution. How are you doing, Mr. Hopster? Very well, and I hope you're all fine. Yes, Mr. Hopster. Are you all ready to learn about the planets today? We'd love to, Mr. Hopster. Do you know which planet we live in? Yes, we live in the planet called Earth. Exactly. We look at all the eight planets in the solar system. What's a solar system? Solar refers to sun, and the collection of sun and the planets around the sun is called solar system. In the solar system, sun is in the center, and the planets revolve around the sun. Doesn't the sun go around the Earth? Not so, little one. It's the Earth which goes around the sun. I want you to know that our solar system belongs to a galaxy called Milky Way. Hey, Milky Way, Milky Way! Yes, duckies. Milky Way is a galaxy which has a lot more planets. Why is the galaxy called the Milky Way? Good question. It appears as a milky band of light in the sky when you see it in the dark area. Did you know our solar system is more than 4 billion years old? Four billion years, that's a long time. Yes, that is a long time ago. Anyway, we look at our solar system which has the Earth. Okay, look over here. The planet closest to the sun is Mercury. Mercury is the first planet in the solar system. It's the smallest planet, and its surface is rocky, and it's very hot in day, and very cold in the night, because it does not have atmosphere. Again, that was Mercury. The second planet is Venus. This is the hottest planet in the solar system. But it doesn't get cold in the night, because it has a thick atmosphere. It's so bright and you can see it in the sky both in the morning and evening. Hey everybody, that's Venus. Okay, the third planet in the solar system is where you and I live. It's Earth. Earth is a planet where we have found life because we have water. Plants grow with water and sunlight. Do you know around three-fourths of the Earth is covered with water? So it's called the blue planet. Okay everybody, that's our mother Earth. The next planet which is fourth from the sun is Mars. 
It's called a red planet because it's red in color, which is due to rusty iron in the ground. We find ice and water in the planet, but no life yet. That's the red planet Mars. The fifth planet in the solar system is Jupiter. This is the largest planet in our solar system. It's more than a thousand times bigger than the Earth. Okay, that's the largest planet, Jupiter. The sixth planet in the solar system is Saturn. This is the second largest planet. Saturn is known for its rings. These rings are made up of chunks of ice and rock, and the rocks can be as big as a small hill on Earth. Okay, that's Saturn, the planet with its spectacular rings. The seventh planet in the solar system is Uranus. It's an icy planet and is known for rotating on its side. Okay, that's the Uranus. The eighth planet in the solar system is Neptune. Neptune was named after the Roman god of the sea for its blue color. This is the farthest planet away from the sun. It's also a very cold icy planet. Look again, that's Neptune. Did you all like it? Yes, yes, we love the planets. Okay, let's sing about the solar system. Sun is at the center of the solar system. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury. Mercury! The hottest planet of them all is Venus. Venus! The blue planet we live on is Earth. Earth! The red planet that comes next is Mars. Mars! The largest of all the planets is Jupiter. The planet known for its rings is Saturn. Saturn! The icy planet rotating on its side is Uranus. Uranus! The farthest planet from the sun is Neptune. Neptune! One more time, guys. Sun is at the center of the solar system. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury. Mercury! The hottest planet of them all is Venus. Venus! The blue planet we live on is Earth. Earth! The red planet that comes next is Mars. Mars! The largest of all the planets is Jupiter. The planet known for its rings is Saturn. Saturn! The icy planet rotating on its side is Uranus. Uranus! The farthest planet from the sun is Neptune.